Hi, I'm Dan. I'm part of the team here at Love Church. Welcome to Weekday Word, which is part of Love Church Online. I'm going to be with you every day this week, five minutes per day at midday, and I'm going to be talking through my favourite passage in the Bible. It's a psalm, uh, and I'm going to be reading through Psalm 139. So what I wanted to do today on our first session is I wanted to kind of read through all of Psalm 139 at the start, and then as we go through the week, we'll unpack it as we go. So from the beginning, Psalm 139, I've termed this this week, by the way, the loving nature of our Heavenly Father. From verse one, you have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, to, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If, my, if I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me and your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained before me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would, be out, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you, God, would slay the wicked. Away from me, you who are bloodthirsty. They speak, uh, speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord, and abhor those who are in rebellion against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them as my enemies. Search me, God. Know my heart. Test me. Know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So let's go right back to the top. Uh, I'm sorry that's a slightly long reading, by the way, but I think it's really good to, we want to get stuck into the word, right? So to have the whole passage is great up front. Oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. On the surface, this looks like a simple statement, but you know, David is talking about how we look, you know, when you look deeper, it's talking about that, that special meaning that we, you know, to search right in, to know our hearts. The Hebrew word um, for, for search is shakar. And what that means is to get, to go right deep, to, to go right in as if like boring for precious metal. So to go right into, to see who we are, uh, which I think is amazing. And when David's talking, he's talking about the Lord. He's talking about Yahweh. He's talking about the King of Kings who knows us and wants to know us so deeply and passionately. And I just love that. And I was thinking about this and I was thinking about this is going to be a it might seem like a silly little story, but I just wanted to encourage you at the beginning of the week. I want to encourage you that, that God is bothered about even the smallest, most minute detail in your life. The other week I needed some ratchet straps. <laughs> I'm a big fan of little. A number of people will know this about me, particularly the middle of little. And if you go in there, they had these ratchet straps and they were... I can't remember, they were pretty cheap, but they had loads and I needed two and I didn't buy them at the time in the middle of little and I really should have done. And I went back and I couldn't find the ratchet straps. And I was with my son, a little seven year old buddy. And, uh, and we were rifling through in the, all the bins trying to find them just to see if they had one left. And we found one ratchet strap. And then the buddy was there and he kept tugging. He was going, dad, dad, let's just go and ask. 
the guy down there. And we were praying beforehand. We were saying, Lord, we really need these ratchet straps. This is quite important. If you could just help us to find them, that would be amazing. And I know this might seem really silly, but it, hopefully it will illustrate how I believe God is bothered about the small things. And Buddy, bless him, trotted off and he found a little employee a little bit further down who was going through and, and updating the stock. And this guy lifted up with one hand. He goes, I've got one here. So between the one we'd already found and the one that the guy found, we had the two ratchet straps. And Buddy was so chuffed that we had found these two when it seemed like there was none there. And then the guy said, as these are the last two left, I'm going to discount these ratchet straps for you. And took a third off of the price at the same time, which was amazing. And we came away. My son was so encouraged. I was encouraged because I didn't think we were going to get them. Now, I know that seems really trivial, but I use that as an illustration God is bothered about every small detail in your life. So be encouraged. Let's close with the Lord's Prayer. I know there's quite a lot with the reading up front, but let's say the Lord's Prayer together and then I'll pray for you guys. So, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And Father, I just want to say thank you for the fantastic words of Psalm 139 that have been such an encouragement to me. I thank you that you are bothered about every area of our lives, that you want to go deep, that you want to just have such a deep relationship with us. So I just pray that everybody watching this would be really blessed today to know that they are loved, to know that they are cared for, to know that you are bothered about them. So bless us, I pray in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I look forward to being with you again tomorrow, midday. Take care.